Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox. And this is an old book, and it is not in book format at the present time, but one day it will be back on the shelves, and it'll be in a different type of format. It won't be a devotional type of format anymore. It'll be a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse uh, commentary, or this one was a devotional commentary where Brother James uh, did a different uh, topic and outline for each day of the year, and this is the only book he's ever done like this, and so we have come to this 31st day of the month, the last day of uh, this month, and the title is A New Name, so we're continuing on this uh, topic here of uh, um, Jacob wrestling with uh, uh, God and all that, so if you missed any of those, I encourage you to go back and listen to them in their entirety, and I believe it started, let's see, when did this started here. It started on the 28th with the breaking of Jacob, and he had this outline here uh, with, uh, let's see, there was five points there with a bunch of sub points, and then on the 29th we had divine discipline, and then yesterday we had divine power, and today we have this topic, a new name, and then tomorrow we'll continue on in this topic here uh, with what is thy name, where Jacob is asking uh, the man he's wrestling with, what his name is, so we'll go through that, and then on the 2nd through the 4th, we have this three-part series of messages titled, Limping Through Trials and Troubles from Genesis 33, so those will be uh, for the next uh, three or four days there, so amen. All right, so before we get started on today's topic, let me uh, greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and he is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already and that is the only way to be saved is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and he'll wash away your sin give you eternal life and then he'll guide you and direct you in all truth as you learn and study his word and have a good and solid relationship with the Lord and and uh all that so and as you grow in his word amen and uh so um, that's uh, how you get saved there, by believing on Jesus Christ and uh, all that. So let's go ahead now and get into today's topic for July 31st, titled A New Name. And it says here, when the angel at Penuel, verse 30, said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. The obvious meaning was that from that time forward, the man was to be known by the new name only, in similar cases of change of name, Abram to Abraham, Saul to Paul, Simon to Peter, the new name persisted, and at least with Abraham and Paul, the old one was never used again, right? But what we find in the story of Jacob is different. Yeah, it, it is different. After the wrestling match at Penuel, the name Jacob occurs no less than 45 times, while Israel appears only 23 times, and what is equally significant, the usage to which we are familiar is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Uh, why did not the name Jacob disappear entirely, and Israel in all cases take its place? It is because Jacob frequently went back from the new position and privilege given him at Penuel, he did not continue true to that revelation. Uh, he did not abide in the position and power of a prince of God, as his new name is oft defined. It is unutterably sad when a believer recedes from a high position of spiritual privilege, right? So let's be careful not to do that, to be disobedient. To the heavenly vision and revert to the old type of life is one of the most terrible of sorrows and one of the profoundest of mysteries. It is bad for a man to refuse God altogether. It is in some ways worse in this life for a believer to lose position, peace, and power through unfaithfulness. Yeah, so let that be a lesson to us all that we can uh, lose our position, peace, and power through unfaithfulness. Um, continuing on, it says, Let us give heed to this story of Jacob's failure, and as we mark his steps backward, let us ponder well the secret of his fall. 
in a doctrinal sense, uh, the careful Bible student will note that henceforth in doctrine and in type, those passages referring to Jacob will speak of the man of the nation in unbelief, and those referring to Israel will speak of the man uh, or the nation in faith. So let me reread that. I read that wrong. So again, um, let me read that over there. I read read that wrong. Uh, so uh, again, it says, in a doctrinal sense, the careful Bible student will note that henceforth in doctrine and in type, uh, those passages referring to Jacob will speak of the man or the nation uh, in unbelief, and those referring to Israel will speak of the man or the nation in faith. So, amen. So let's take heed to these things and not do what Jacob did and go after the flesh and be on faithful and all that, but stay faithful to the Lord and continue walking with Him. And I know there's times where our flesh gets the best of us and uh, not to um, get into that temptation, but to flee from it and all that. So let, let's learn from these things here and not just read them, but uh, um, be in obedience and do these things, do what's right and not what's wrong and all that. So and what the Lord wants and not what man wants and what the flesh wants and all that. So all right, so that's the end of uh, today's topic, a new name. And tomorrow, like I said, uh, for the first, we have this topic on what is thy name. And this uh, continues on with Jacob uh, wrestling with the Lord here. And we'll go over that when he asks um, uh, this man that he's wrestling with uh, what his name is. So that'll be tomorrow's topic. And then from the second through the fourth, we have this three-part series of messages titled Limping Through Trials and Trouble from Genesis 33. So that would be from the uh, second to the um, fourth here. And then on the fifth, we have uh, this topic titled Care of the Lambs from Genesis 33, 13, and 14. So that will be the topic for the fifth. And so give you some idea of what the next uh, few days hold in the book here. So... All right, and that's the cover of the book again. This was first printed in 2004, and the second printing was in 2005, and that's the printing I own here. So you might be able to find the used copy somewhere on the Internet, or you can uh, contact the church to get the PDF file of the book and uh, maybe look and see if it's on the church website or contact the church to find out how to get a, um, uh, that file sent to you so you can have uh, at least that file there and maybe somehow make your own um, copy of the book so all right so you can at least have have it um, in physical um, however you uh, want to do it I guess you print it all out and then put it uh, in a notebook somewhere or something so you have it so uh, that's that and then most of brother James's books are still in print uh, it can be found at www.jameswnox.org that's the church website the Bible Baptist Church in Deland Florida and uh that's um, how you can find his books and then preaching and teaching of God's word straight from the Bible. And Brother James is an expository preacher and teacher. And he breaks down the Bible and explains it to you and how to rightly divide the word of truth so you don't get caught up in some false doctrine and start believing other things that aren't uh, um, geared towards us. And as uh, he says a lot, and I've heard other men say, uh, is that uh, not everything is written to us, but everything is written for us. So we got to know who's, uh, who the Lord is talking to, if he's talking to the nation of Israel or Gentiles or the church of God, which is believers, born-again believers in Christ, whether you're a uh, Jew or Gentile. If you got saved, you're, you're, not, that, um, you're not categorized that as anymore. Uh, you're not categorized as that anymore. You're a born-again believer in Christ, and you give up that old life and you get into the new life and because you become a new creature in Christ amen as the Bible says so learn what God wants you to do as a believer and the first thing he wants us to do is of course believe on him if you're lost and undone and dead in trespasses of sin you got to realize that you can't save yourself and no man can save you it's only Jesus Christ who can save your soul and then after you get saved then you uh, go out and you be a bold witness for the Lord and tell others about Jesus and what he did on the cross for them and how salvation comes through him alone and nobody else and nothing else, not water baptism, not um, praying a, a prayer um, that you don't mean, um, not uh, 
Um, what else? Uh, going to church can't save you. Um, and um, confessing your sins to a man that can't save you. And uh, that's uh, why would you want to do that anyway? Because uh, a lot of these religions, um, they they teach that you have to confess your sins to a man because there's some kind of mediator between God and men. Well, it's not a man. It's not Mary. It's Jesus Christ. He's the mediator. And even Mary is said to go straight to to the Lord, to go straight to Jesus for the answers and all that. So so uh, she knew she knew better not not to be making herself above the Lord. So amen. And so uh, make sure you trust Jesus. And then after that, get in the Bible, learn it, study it, get in a good Bible believing church where you hear the truth of God's word taught to you and uh, grow in God's word and in a relationship with him and all that. So so that's that uh, information there for the book uh, to get the books from Brother James and preaching from uh, the word of God from Brother James and other men from the Bible Baptist Church that preach and teach through God's word. And then uh, the YouTube channel is um, James Knox uh, Sermons YouTube channel. So that's where you can find the video uh, presentations of the video of the sermons. And then if you want to um, check these out, if you missed any of them, you can go on some of the YouTube channel that I have, and that's Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast, and look me up that way, and like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you know when I'm posting these up on that uh, YouTube channel. So that's about it for today, so thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.